Okay, and this is our final video from the logarithm section from year one. And what we're going to do in this video is essentially a repeat of a previous video. But what we've got is instead of a polynomial curve, you've got the relationship in an exponential form, i.e. it's the power that's now the variable. It's very, very similar to what we've done before, but there's a slight difference in terms of how you do the transformation when you're doing that manipulation. So let's just have a look at what's going to happen. So our relationship is exponential, not polynomial. So we've got, in this particular case, a biologist conducts an experiment um, going uh, back to here in a Petri dish. And we've got the number of uh, bacteria, or the population size of bacteria is going to be modelled using this relationship that has been suggested to us. So we've got an exponential relationship. So again, what we're going to do is transform this using logs. So here we go. The process is exactly the same again, but as you're going to see, slightly different end result. Take logs of both sides. Then there's the separating it out bit. And then the last thing would be to bring that T to the, to the front. And there we go. And you might be looking at that thing, well, that's basically the same as what we had before. But let's now just compare it to our Y equals MX plus C. That bit's exactly the same. We've still got kind of the, the variable plotting on the vertical axis. It still needs to be log P. This next bit, again, exactly the same. There's our intercept, log A, that constant. It's this bit where we've got a slight difference because you'll notice it's T that is the variable. So that variable is still sitting there in its current form. And it's the log B that is now our gradient because we've got log B lots of T. Remembering B in this equation here being constant. So it's just that slight difference there. And what that means is when I'm plotting this, rather than taking logs of both values, I take logs of P but I don't need to take logs of t. So there's a slight difference there in what I'm plotting. So that's what I'm saying. We're going to plot log p against t. Our gradient is log b, and our intercept is log a. So let's just have a little look at some numerical data now for this experiment and just see what's going to happen. So there we go. We've got our data. We've taken our relationship, p equals a, b to the power of t, and we've transformed it, and we know we've got to plot log p against t. So I don't need to take logs of t at all. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put in log p there. And there we go. There's our value for log p. When I plot the graph, you'll see I've got log p up the side, but this um, down the bottom here is just our values for t, as they were before. And now off I go again with basically the same technique, so the gradients. So what I've done is used 4.78, 4.3, so I've used these values here do my rise over run so I've got the value of my gradient which we said is log b and so now let's just turn that back and get a value for b so let's just reverse it so um, 10 to the power of 0 0.096 is 1.25 and then we can either pick this off the graph or the table but essentially what we see here is our intercept is appearing here anyway so we don't do a whole lot more with that we can see that our intercept from the graph is 3.81. We can see from the table that is 6,500. So if we did 10 to the power of 3.81, we'd be getting 6,500. And so now we've got our value, going back to my original experiment, we've got our values for A and B. So therefore, there's the equation um, of my, oh sorry, there's the relationship between P and T. And there we go final bit let's just run through that standard procedure again so y equals a b to the x log y log a b to the x separate them on the right bring the x to the front of the log b using your log laws and there we go there's the relationship you're looking at so in this one we're going to be plotting instead of plotting log against log we're just going to be plotting x against log y the gradient is log b and the intercept is log a and there it all is nicely done and sorted